I'm Mort Cooper, your host on Change Your Voice, Change Your Life. This evening's program, Zingers, Zingers for Everyone. Every once in a while, aren't you zung? Don't you have a zinger hit you and somebody says something to you and you're in a state of shock? We like to be zingered every once in a while. And why not? When you wake up in the morning and you hear what's going on throughout the day, you are zingered. You watch the evening news, you are zingered. You read about corruption, pollution, you read about murder, mayhem, and all the wonderful things of our society that you've grown accustomed to. You don't laugh anymore. I invite you to join again with society. Laugh. Laughter is the saving grace. Lord Byron said, and if I laugh, tis that I may not weep. There was another gentleman in the 18th century who said, to those who think life is a comedy, to those who feel it's a tragedy. There are those who said it was Bernard Shaw who said it, others who said it was someone else. But the essence of the comment is there. To those who think life is a comedy, to those who feel, namely experience life, it's a tragedy. Why don't you join with us as we do some of the cartoons that I've penned over the years. In studio with me is my brother, he used to say he was my younger brother. Now he says he's my older brother because he wants more bizarres. And he's going to do the voices as well as I will, or better still than I do. His name is Andre Philippe. He goes by that name. His real name is Ev Cooper, but he has a reason for using that name. We'll talk about it on this show or another show. Ev, do you have the... the uh, are we going to take a look at, relatively speaking, see what it looks like? And there we are. Zingers for everybody. We'll begin with this cartoon, and Andre Philippe is the voice of the character. Andre? Such is life. They said friends turn to enemies. Enemies uh, become friends. Success ends up in failure. Failure turns to success. Nothing certain, except uncertainty. And there you have a reality of life. Everything in our society, I believe, is uncertain. This is one I think you might find true as you sit there and wonder to yourself, as you have throughout the years. Let's take a look at this cartoon, shall we? As a kid, I, I couldn't understand why so many people flipped out. As an adult, I can't understand why all the people don't flip out. I gather that tells us where society is, and it gives us an essence of what's going on. Let's take a listen to Andre as he does this cartoon. It was always her mother. Her mother did it this way. Her mother said that. Her mother felt this or that. I heard about her mother so much, I thought I was married to her mother. My wife was very much put out when I told her that. Her mother warned her I would be difficult. As my brother, he has been a difficult young man, and now he admits to being my older brother. People tell us we don't look alike, and that's true. I gather there are different uh, appearances of brothers, and we would never be taken for brothers. Can you imagine a young man named Andre Philippe as a brother to Mort Cooper? And there you have it. Let's take a look at this cartoon now. I married at 21, divorced at 22. I remarried at 23, divorced at 26, remarried at 30, divorced at 35. I'm pleased with my progress. I remain married for longer periods each time. I think that uh, tells you all about our society and uh, what people feel and think. Do you find it hits home? Is it a zinger that kind of zonks you about why so many people get married and divorced? I don't know anybody, or yes I do, I do know a few people who are still married after 20 or 30 years. It's very unusual to find those in 
Hollywood or West Los Angeles married to the same mate after those period of years. Uh, you know the quickest way to the poorhouse, multiple divorces. Andre, let's take a listen to this one. She cried when she told me she wanted a divorce. 21 years together. I'd given her everything she wanted, needed, liked, and hoped for. And she said it wasn't enough. So I asked her, what more can I do for her? Nothing. She said that was why she was leaving. Why not? If you can't get anything more than... This is a society given to equal opportunity. If you get married, why not see if you can bring your lawyer along with you? The old days when you married for love and care and concern, where are those old days? Are they still around? Do you still believe in them or do you believe in the modern concept bring your lawyer when you get married like you go to your MD bring your lawyer along you can always have a very sensible conversation here is one that I believe you have encountered yourself the frustration level let's take a look at this cartoon shall we frustration is having a letter telling you you aren't uh, um, you aren't responding intelligently and apparently when you have and they haven't and it's Friday at 6 o'clock and you have to wait till Monday to answer. That's frustration, isn't it? Where shall we go with the way we face the daily activity? Can you be at one with the day as you go through it or is disappointment following you? Let's hear what Andre has to say. He often uh, skipped through a red light. The other fellow could wait. He ran through stoplights for years. He didn't have time to do foolish things. He hit a truck trailer head on last week. He died happy. The other fellow ran the red light. Success sometimes is finding that what you sought could happen. Possibly what you didn't seek could happen. Every once in a while we find that we too are at fault. The Quakers had the expression, all the world is queer, save thee and me. And lately they added, I have my doubts about thee. I changed that to when I woke up this morning, I even had doubts about me. Let's take a look at this cartoon that tells us about modern living. Ready for this one? If you want to stay ahead of inflation, you have a few choices. Make more money fast or invest what you have wisely. If you can do one or the other, you get the Man of the Year award. I think that uh, might be true of uh, what's happening in our society. We have inflation, we have recession. Uh, lately, uh, we're back to uh, inflation again. And if you notice prices, they're beginning to move upward and we're concerned now with uh, where they're going. Andre, where are we going? We're going back to the flavor of life. It changes as you age. Now in youth, it's bittersweet. In adulthood, it's bitter and sweet. In later life, it's a little more bitter and less sweet. And in old age, it's bitter, and the sweetness of memory. Andre, you've been around Hollywood for a few years. Is the memory bitter, or is it sweet? It's both bitter and sweet, more oh, Bitter and sweet. Yeah, and that's, there are good that's, times, and they're bad. There are, are ups and downs. There are ups and downs, Fats ins and, and outs. skinny times, lonely mm -hmm. times. There's times mm -hmm. when there's too many people. Mm -hmm. It's time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Oh, he's going to give us Willie Shakespeare. A time to get and a time to lose. I, he's going to give us Willie Shakespeare. A time to sow and a time I to thought, I thought Willie, Willie is okay, but we want to pass Willie at this no, point. No, that's, that's uh, Ecclesiastes. Oh, well, I, you, you got it. Uh, we're going to pass that right now and move on to um, one a cartoon we've got here. And it's, uh, he lived on his reputation made when he was young and fresh and alive. For years he hadn't done anything except talk about his past. But time had passed him by and he wasn't trying to catch up because he didn't realize that he was forgotten. Does that talk about uh, 
that passage you were talking about before from the Bible there, Andre? <coughs> Yes, there's a time to be born and there's a time to die. Well, there's a time to remember where you are and try to stay ahead because if you don't stay ahead, where are you? Let's take a listen to where you are right now. My, my father is, uh, well, he's unhappy with me. So is my mother. My relatives are unhappy with me. My friends, my associates, acquaintances. Everybody's unhappy with me. I'm not the person they, they thought I was, nor the person they insisted I be. I'm sorry, but I'm going to remain the real me. You've been around a few years, Andre. Have you found the real you? Sometimes I think I found the real me, mm -hmm. and then this other guy comes along, Louis. Oh, I call my brother Louis. You ha I call him Ever a Rat and Louie, and there used to be a fellow in New York named Lepke. Buchalter was his real name, but he was one of those fellows who was uh, on the lam. And my brother and I, in growing up in New York, I always felt that he reminded me of Lepke, one of those fellows who always used intimidation. He was bigger, he was stronger, and then low was time, and post-puberty I grew up, and I took care of that problem. Haven't you got a brother like that or a sister, somebody who kind of tap taps you on the head? Maybe that's why I cartoon, aside from staying in the field of communication. Learning how to talk better, how to relate better, and how to get to people so they understand, listen, and like you. Let's take a listen and a look at this cartoon. Uh, he didn't know uh, uh, what to make of it. His girlfriend called to tell him his wife was running around with other men while he was working hard at the office trying to earn enough to keep them all happy. I gather that's not only Hollywood, but that's the world. Why not? What is life about but happiness? And if you can't have a girlfriend or two, everyone has a girlfriend. Even A.M. Rosenthal, I understand, had a girlfriend. Uh, he's a New York Times editor and writer. Let's take a listen to this. Are you ready? I'm uh, getting ready. Yes, we're ready now. Okay, we're ready now. Let's take a listen. Trust, trust in me, she said. We'll, uh, we'll try marriage for a while and, and see. I tried. I really tried. We worked things out, she said. We did. I came out with nothing. She acquired my name, my fortune, my emotions, and I had her lawyers and a divorce suit. What else can you ask for? It's modern times, folks. If you have a lawyer and her suit and you have something to fondly remember people by. It's not that you just split in our time and age. You split with as much as you can, apparently. Love was good for the old days, but now you have to face reality. It's the bottom line that counts. And you have to bottom line everything out. So let's try it now and see what we have on deck. Are you all ready? All right, we're on for the cartoon. People told me how odd and funny and strange I was. They seldom stop to think I thought the same, if not more, of them. If you go to New York City, you hear people talk like that. They say it's beautiful, and they talk very staccato. They talk as though they want to make each lip movement work. Like, get smart, Agent 99. Um, that's funny. I talk this way, kind of at ease. My brother says you should hype everything. You see, my brother and I are different in our style. I'm low-key, and he's very high-key. Let's see what high-key does with the next cartoon. He spoke about uh, helping others, the poor, the disabled, the lost. He pleaded for contributions to a system. But meanwhile, he ruthlessly destroyed his competitors in business. Legally, 
explaining to all who would listen the vast difference between morality and legality. There is a vast difference between morality and legality. And if you ask the great minds of our day, the attorneys, they will tell you many things that are not moral are legal, or things that are immoral are legal. So you have to separate the two. I'm going to throw a curve at my brother right now because he requires a curve. And for the next cartoon, we're going to let him do that same voice on the next cartoon. We've been skipping cartoons, but we're going to give him a privileged opportunity right now to do the next cartoon. Are you all ready? The needy handicap was so happy about the fun. There was big telethons and massive gatherings and huge parties and gigantic financial pledges. About six million dollars was collected. And that was just enough to pay off the expenses of the fundraisers and all. And have enough money to advertise next year's fund for the needy handicapped. I find that uh, now and then I read the blurbs that come out in newspapers and magazines saying that all the money they the organizations have gathered to them have been spent in great part for administration. And that's one reason I don't give to, to the organizational activities, that, uh, the charitable ones that come up. I do give to the, the staff itself, such as at the Y, and make sure that what I give every year goes to the staff so I can see them eat it or use it. And I know it's not for administrative costs and 80 to 90 or 95 percent wasted in some administration facility, but that's the way I am. So we all vary in our approaches. Let's take a look at this cartoon. I like that. I What's like to uh, need it or use it. You know, Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the richest of all lords is use. Isn't that wonderful? I think that's, Ralph Waldo, you, you come up with some good ones. I like that. I that's like in an that. essay called Considerations uh, by the Way. The richest I, I, of all I'm, lords is use. I, I like that. Things. I like that. I'm going to give him one in return for that. The, the, uh, you can get more done with a kind word and a gun than just a kind word. That was uttered by Erwin Corey. Let's try the next cartoon. I like that stuff about use. My brother's always in there. Let's take a look at this cartoon. Loneliness, emptiness, desolation, isolation. They asked if any of these words meant anything or something to me. They are me. How's that? Is isolation, desolation, loneliness, and all of those things, are those? They're pointing here from one finger to the other with the cameraman. We don't know which camera we're on. It's like life. You don't know on what step you are and what rung. You have to find out. Somebody has to tell you. And by the time they tell you, it's too late. Let's take a look at this cartoon. Andre? I, uh, I tried to help. But, like, everyone was uh, suspicious. So I gave it up. You know, I did what everybody else did. I took as much as I could. And I became famous as an outstanding humanitarian. Do you like uh, my brother's voice? He went to Brooklyn College, and he majored in speech. Now he has to come back with dialect and accent. So he could talk like that. You see, if you, if you lived in Brooklyn, you could learn to talk like uh, uh, Sil uh, uh, Stallone. You know, he, talk, he talked like that all the time. He would be good for cartoon character work. In fact, uh, he's very uh, interesting to mimic. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't laugh, folks. Stallone is making an absolute fortune. That tells you where our society is. And Dr. Julia, or Doc, uh, why call her that? Julia Child. No, ladies, with that voice. And Dr. Dr. Ruth. If speech is so important, how come these people make a fortune with those trademark, erratic, strange voices? But then again, 007, James Bond, makes a fortune talking like this. And then you have to ask yourself, I feel the situation. Henry K. Henry Kissinger was back on television. We have some national crisis, and Henry is wheeled out right away to ask what he's thinking about. And Henry says, "I feel the situation that we have." You know how Henry is. He's always he's always muttering 
uh, in that lower well, it sounds like it's very, very impressive. And if you understand him at times, Irma Bombeck said, if you miss the first few words of uh, Henry Kissinger, it's all over, folks. You think you're losing your hearing when you hear, I feel it is situation. He's very impressive, and I like to hear him very much. I'm sure he has a great deal to say. I just don't hear it all the time. Andre, would you like to do the honors on the next? Oh, you're giving me two in a row? Yes, I, uh, my, brother, right. my brother is an only child. He really is. That was the title of a book a few years ago, and what I a, feel he, he was never raised with a brother because what he always tried nice to disown me as we brother. always tapping me on the you head. You are my, you are your brother's keeper. That's I am my brother's keeper. Now let's see if you can keep you the, the torch. Friend. I am a true friend. Here we you go. You know what they say, a Here friend in need. Is a friend without a, a deed. Best. Yes. Could you do the next commercial? Uh, Everybody uh, is afraid of everybody but not me. I'm just afraid of me. I never know what I'm going to say or do. I don't have time to concern to fear others. I'm too terrified to be afraid of me. What do you think, Henri? Are you afraid of facing reality? I ain't afraid of nothing. That's, no his, one. that's, his, that's his real voice. That's his real voice. That you sound, why don't you use that voice when you talk normally? Can you tell us? What, my real voice? That, I mean, talk like that. You know I what I mean. I ain't got no you, real voice. I'm just an actor. You're an actor. The whole world is an actor. And whatever they what was Shakespeare's line? All the world is a stage and we are but actors. That's right. That's Four what players that struck. Okay, we're going to take a listen to it. Hours yeah, here upon the right. stage. The tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. I like that. I like that. It sounds just like New York. Go on. Please, go on. You want me to do the... Yeah, I want you to do the rest of that line. Oh. Signifying nothing. What is life but a poor player? No, I don't want it done with a with a clear English. I want it done in a Brooklynese. No, you can't do it. Right? You can't do it with a Brooklynese. No. Why not? In deference to oh. William Shakespeare. Oh, why can't you do it this no way. way? There's a proper way to do things. In oh, no, there isn't. Yes, what about it? To be or not to be? You know, that's the question, whether it's, uh, you know, that's people talking. Why? Why? Oh, yeah, prince. It was prince done prince in a certain time. It's that. changed. Now you have Woody Nothing Allen. Changes. To be or not to be. That's the question, the whether it's right or wrong. You know, Woody Allen would do it. And Dr. Ruth. Da, 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 to be or not to be. I like Dr. Ruth. What about you doing the next uh, cartoon? You know, I used right, to bounce out of bed in the early morning, and then, and then I thought about things, and then, and then I realized I wasn't going far, and then I, I realized I wouldn't go far, and then, and then I didn't get out of bed. Andre, do you know a lot of people who don't get out of bed because of that stance and that progression? Is that what happens to people after a while, they just give up? Is that why so many people stay home and don't bother? We, why we have so many people not going to the work? It is said that 90% of the people in jobs don't like what they do. They're bored. They don't feel comfortable what they have to do. Is that what your field is about? I'm just asking. I'm not telling. I and see. if that is what happens, is that why we watch so much baseball, football, uh, boxing, is that why we try to escape? I don't know what the answer is, but I guess we do like to get away from what we well, do. Well, that's the definition of work. Most that's the definition. Most people do things eight hours a day that they don't enjoy uh, doing to make do you, money, do you, to give it to people. Money, that, money isn't everything. It's the only thing. Andre, why don't you do the next cartoon? Well, I gave everything to have a home. A family, friends, a career. And then I found it wasn't what I really wanted. So I gave it all up to find out why. <laughs> he sounds like the lion from The Wizard of Oz. You remember the lion, Bert Lahr? Come on, put up your dukes, put up your dukes, yeah. Let me ask you something, sincerely. Straightforwardly, have you ever heard of a Brooklyn accent on a lion? Have you ever heard of a lion that talks? How come we accept lions and tigers and all these crazy animals that you're watching now in cartoon form as talking? You've got to be out of your mind. And yet you're sitting there and saying, hey, that's funny. 
Now, if a, an adult says that, it's not so fun. We love Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and all the animals talking with us. And I'm going to tell you something. You're ready for commitment. Do you know why? You have cats, two or three different cats. You talk to the cats differently. One cat with one voice, another voice with another cat. You have a dog, you talk with the dog differently. You're ready for commitment, but you like animals, don't you? I just thought I'd mention that. Let's take a look at one cartoon now, and then we'll be closing. Andre, you got the next cartoon. Society is a community of people pretending a goodness and graciousness with intent being all and action being nothing. We talk about the morality of things. We recently had a few people who aren't doing too well legally who talked about the morality of greed, how important it is. And uh, sometimes we have people who do things that overshoot the legal aspect and they wind up in problems. I thought we'd end the program with this one cartoon, my dear brother, I call him Ever a Rat. Uh, in the old days, now I call him Dear Andre. Dear Andre, would you read this last cartoon? So I think it would sum up what we've been talking about. I'd like to delegate, delegate, dedicate, and deviate the next cartoon to my brother Morton. And it goes thusly. I'm uh, willing to listen to anybody who speaks with reason and is meaningful and is able to define himself and his position or lack of position, since I'm the only one who meets that criteria, I do all the talking. I'm sure that's true. Do You do all the talking when uh, you're talking with people. Uh, there's listening that's important, but remember, it's not where the action is in our society. You've been tuned to a program called Change Your Voice, Change Your Life. My brother, Andre Philippe, he's my real brother. People ask me, is that possible? He doesn't look like me. I think he's very fortunate. He has hair on his head. Uh, he has a, uh, a very gifted mind, and he also has the ability to do voices. Thank you all for joining with me. I'm Mort Cooper, your host on Change Your Voice, Change Your Life. See you next week. We'll communicate through cartoons. Thank you for joining me. Good night.